All right, I'm back with the second semi-final now. It's going to be between Spam, Kronos, DNS, and Carl Jr. And in the first semi-final, we saw Poker and Beat uh, getting top two. Uh, Beat um, Beppo got third and didn't qualify. So top two qualify for the grand final. And uh, that one's going to be played after this semi-final. And uh, let's go in-game here, see if the players are getting ready. Ooh, and DNS actually set a new world record here, just as I switched to the game. 57.41 on ESL over and over. Very nice time. Alright, Rusk restarting the challenge, and we will start. So this semi-final, um, it's pretty hard to predict, I'd say. And also because I don't really know how trained the players are, but um, so yeah, that that might be interesting to see. Of course, uh, we will use the ESL Cup mode in this um, playoffs, and that means that once you become finalist, um, you still keep getting points, and the others need to get more points than you or the same amount of points to also be finalist. So you can actually lose your finalist status and also regain it again. All right, here we go. First round: Spam versus DNS versus Kronos versus Call Junior. Who will be the two players joining Poker and uh, Beat in the grand final? DNS with a great start takes early lead. Uh, Spam dropping down to last. Here goes for a wide line. More speed will pass Kronos. Uh, where is Kronos? Actually, there he is. At last still with that wide line, but a very close round so far. Kronos passing spam slightly here. Good turn by Kronos. Might be able to pass Call Junior as well. Yes, he will. Good stuff by Kronos, but then he goes a bit too wide and drops down to last instead. Spam comes back. DNS in the lead in the meantime with 1700s. Ahead of Call Junior, here's a platform. Oh, this is very close. Kronos comes back with a lot of speed. Might be able to pass spam for third. Kronos comes back and will defeat spam. But DNS takes first, Carl Junior second, Kronos third, and Spam fourth. That was a very good uh, round to start off the match, actually. So DNS with 10 points, Carl Junior with 6, Kronos with 4, and Spam with 3. And uh, there are 3 rounds on these maps. Uh, ESL maps are used uh, from um, the CPS 11 season that happened a couple of months ago. Alright, second round. DNS again with a good start, but Kronos is slightly ahead of him. 300s to be specific. Carl Junior with a great couple of turns here. Goes up to first. But very close again between all four players. Spam also in there. Spam going very wide. Takes up a lot of speed here. Ooh, DNS lost his grip on the road and falls down to last place. Ooh, what happened with Spam? Spam with a landing bug, perhaps. Falls down to last instead. DNS at third now. Call Junior at first. Kronos at second. Kronos attacking Call Junior for first. But Call Junior with more speed and Kronos with the bad last turn. DNS comes back, but Kronos with more speed. DNS is ahead with 100 and takes second. Call Junior takes first, 57.85. And then Spam takes fourth, 58.68. Now the score is DNS and Call Junior at 16 points, Kronos at 8, Spam at 6. As we start the third and final round on the first map. Ooh, Spam almost crashed. But still in the race. All down to last, 20 hundreds behind. And another poor turn here as well. 2500 is behind now. In the meantime, we have Kronos in the lead ahead of Call Junior and DNS. Ooh, Call Junior with a bad line there, lost his grip as DNS did in the previous round. Kronos in the lead now with 1700s. Good stuff, but then he almost crashed. Still keeps himself on the road. Call Junior at second place now, but DNS with a better line up on the platform here. Where's their spam coming back too? And I think Call Junior crashed. Kronos looking to take first here, 57.71, DNS takes second, 
58.96. Spam comes back and uh, takes third, 58.19. Then Carl Jr. takes uh, fourth place and gets only three points. So now, after the first map, the score is Dinas at first, 22. Carl Jr. at second with 19, Kronos at third with 18, and Spam at fourth with 10. And uh, the next map will be ESL Pi. See, I can at least... Uh, no, I can't actually, never mind. For some reason I can't see the Deadimania records, because I disabled it in the beginning and now I can't find a way to enable it again. So if anyone knows how I do that, uh, I'd be grateful. Alright, so we're gonna have a warm-up round. And uh, then we will start the second map. So far, very close. I'd say uh, Spam is uh, the only player that's not really driving um, that good, but I know that he's also not very trained in these maps. That probably explains it. And of course, this map is pretty pretty speedy map. A lot of stretches as you can see so very important that you build up as much speed as you can all right looks like the warm-up is done good luck and fun all right let's see here um... oh I see okay now I know where the Dominia is and then just uh... Um, still doesn't show up for me. Oh well, whatever. Here we go, first round. DNS in the lead, 22 points. Call Junior 19, Kronos 18, and Spam 10. But it's Spam that takes an early lead here. 200s ahead of DNS. But very close between all four players. Kronos is the one that's last. 800s behind. Can catch up here. Oh. Catches up to spam at least. So he's trying to build up speed in this long drift here, but uh, he clips the wall actually. Drops down in speed a lot. And instead, we have a close battle between DNS and Call Union for first. Spam is 2900 behind. Call Union goes for a wider line, tries to build up a lot of speed here, but DNS with more speed. DNS looking to take first here. Ooh. Yes, he will. Good stuff by DNS. 59.03. Call Junior 59.08. Then Spam is able to be ahead of Kronos. He gets 4 points. But DNS extending his lead now. 32 points. Call Junior at 25. Kronos at 21. And Spam at 14. Point limit is set to 100. And we are using ESL Cup mode. Second round now. Spam again with a good start. So he got that going for him at least. It's DNS who falls down to last. That was a four line for DNS. 2100s behind first place right now. Close battle between Call Junior, Kronos, and Spam. Spam, not much speed here, but let's see the next turn. The long, long stretch here. Very important to build up a lot of speed. Call Junior right now in the lead. 800s ahead of Kronos, 1100s ahead of Spam. And it looks like DNS is coming back. Passes Spam. Can he pass Kronos as well? Ah, went a bit too wide here. And falls down to last again. Spam comes back. Spam is maybe able to beat Kronos. Yes, he will actually. Great ending by Spam. <coughs> 200s ahead of Kronos. But it is called Junior that takes first with 58.90, which is a really good time. Alright, final round now on ESL Pi. Call Junior now tied with DNS for first, 35 points. Kronos at 25 and Spam at 20. So Spam is uh, catching up a bit. 
But right now he is at last place. Ooh. Some awkward lines there by Spam. But uh, he saves it pretty well. It's a lot of speed. He's able to pass DNS. Oh, went a bit too wide. And again a bit too wide here. Tries to build up a lot of speed. Kronos in the meantime is first with 1400s ahead of DNS. And Call Junior goes for a wide line. He will come back with a lot of speed here. Ooh, DNS almost crashed. Almost got a no drift. Call Junior can pass him. Kronos still in the lead with 1100s. Call Junior trying to catch up. But he's not able to do so. Kronos takes first. 58.90. Good time. Call Junior 59.14, DNS 59.23, and Spam 59.52, I believe. So a good race. And uh, now the score is Call Junior 41 points, DNS 39, Kronos 35, and Spam 23. And I will actually leave the server here for a brief moment and trying to fix my camera. So I'm gonna rejoin quickly. Spectator mode in this game is really buggy for some reason. Alright, that should fix it, I think. Hopefully. Uh, it always uh, defaults to uh, follow in the spectator mode, and the camera is different in follow than in replay, and I prefer the camera in replay, as you see it now. Yeah, uh, try source. Um, that might be working. All right, so we have another warm up here, and uh, it's like I can't enable the Mania on the server. That's a bit of a shame. So I can't see the wreckage that the players have. The other time span. Um, All right, we'll have to solve that uh, another time. Yeah, I need to switch to replay like this every round, and it's a bit annoying. All right, first round. It looks like uh, Chronos crashed. Yes, is. Off a second behind right now. Let's see the next checkpoint. 6800 6, even. In the meantime, DNS first, narrowly ahead of Spam and Call Junior. Spam with a very inside line. Catches up a lot here. Close, close between these three players. Here comes the pole. This turn can be tricky, and I think Spam crashed. Yes, he did. You will see mistakes in that turn. In the meantime, Call Junior has passed DNS for first. 700s ahead right now. Call Junior looking to take 10 points and extend his lead that way. Here comes the last turn. Call Junior will take first, 54.82, a great time. DNS takes second, 55.01. Then Spam at third, 58.06. Chronos far behind, but he is still able to finish at least and get 3 points. So Call Junior now at 51 points. DNS at 45, Chronos at 38, and Spam at 27. So it's uh, dragging out a bit now. Call Junior in the lead. As we start the second round. Kronos again with a poor turn. This might not be his uh, favorite map. He tries to build up speed. And seems like he is pretty successful in that. But he is still at last. 1300 is behind. Spam with a mistake. And Kronos can pass him at least. Kronos actually with a lot of speed here. He's passing Call Junior as well. And DNS at currently at first, but Kronos <laughs> he's passing DNS as well. Kronos with a great couple of turns is currently first, and he's actually extending his lead. Even Kronos driving great in this round. 
after that poor start it's not over yet though DNS comes back here comes the ending DNS looking to take first instead but Kronos will be able to stay in front with two hundreds Carl Jr. also also was close 54.99 only spam really behind in that round so very good race so Carl Jr. now at 55 points DNS at 51 Kronos at 48 and spam at 30 so spam is uh, falling down out of this match he needs to step up his game start to drive better and looks like he made another mistake actually where is he here he is he's far behind 9100s looks like he will again take fourth place in this round in the meantime his teammate call Junior is first DNS goes a bit too wide 20 hundreds behind Carl Jr. Kronos at second but he is uh, also far behind Carl Jr. driving good right now only 5000 behind the world record actually ahead with 500s now Carl Jr. on a sick time in this round will this be a new world record? might be uh, now he's 10 hundreds behind so probably not but still a great time 54.71 6 hundreds behind the world record as Carl Jr. sets a new top 2 record still very good so now Carl Jr. in the lead with 65 points DNS second 55 Kronos 54 and Spam 33 and uh, now we will uh, go to ESL over and over uh, for the second time And we're gonna have another warm up round. DNS played uh, the best on this map the first time we played it. See if we can keep that up. But uh, right now, I'd say it's Carl Jr. who got the momentum. He's driving the best. Uh, but Kronos also not doing too shabby. Only one point behind DNS. It's only spam really that's uh, dropped out of this match. Of course, he can still come back, as we saw in the previous match, uh, where a beat caught up to Poker with 40 50 points. Then, of course, Poker was still able to close out the match as first. And then it was Beppo's time to make a pretty good comeback. He won, uh, I believe it was three rounds in a row before Beat could finally um, qualify as second place for the grand final. Those two will be joined by two players from this semi-final. And then the final will be played immediately afterwards. Alright, players are ready. And we will continue the match. Call Junior in the lead, 65 points. DNS 55, Kronos 54, Spam 33. Here we go. Kronos with a slight mistake. But comes back. Is second now. Uh, looks like Spam is last again. Ooh! Big mistake from Carl Jr. Crashes hard into the wall and drops down. Is now two seconds behind the rest of the gang. So the others will catch up to him now. DNS in the lead. Spam with a good turn. Kronos falls to third place. Kronos did that turn way better than Spam. Spam went a bit too inside and didn't. Uh... Ooh, what happened? Kronos! Kronos crashes and Spam can't pass him, and so Spam will get six points. But it is DNS who will take first. 57.82, only player without mistakes in this round. He takes 10 points and catches up to Carl Jr. a lot now. Ooh, Carl Jr. actually ahead of Kronos as well. So that mistake by Kronos co uh, cost him a lot. So now Carl Jr. at 69 points, DNS 65, Kronos 57, and Spam 39. And the respawn is not allowed in this tournament, that's good to know. As we see Kronos again with a bad start. 
27 hundreds behind first place. Ooh, almost crashed again and DNS falls down. And Kronos with another mistake. So many mistakes right now. And we have the two Dignitas players in the front. Call Junior at first, 700 out of spam. And the spam that needs the points, of course. He's only at 39 points right now. But um, I'd say Call Junior still would would uh, be best in focusing and getting points for himself instead of his teammate. So probably gonna try to take first here and extend his lead. Yeah, he will. 58.07, 58.13 by spam, 59.01 by DNS, and 59.97 by Kronos. Uh, seems like Kronos respawned, but uh, not sure what will be done by that. With that, I guess just uh, reduce his points or something if that's possible. As we see, spam dropping down to last place in the next round. We have DNS in the lead, 400 ahead of Call Junior. Kronos with a good turn. Goes up to first. Very close between these three players. Spam is over one second behind at fourth. And a good turn by DNS as he overtakes the lead. And here comes this uh, important turn here. Looks like all three players did it well. This is very close so far. Who will take first in this round? Call Junior goes a bit too wide. And we'll lose a lot of time because of that. Instead we have a battle between DNS and Kronos for first. Kronos tries for it but goes a bit too wide in the end. DNS takes first. 57.62. Nice time. 57.73 by Kronos is also nice. Call Junior also under 58 seconds. And spam again. Only gets 3 points. So yeah, if they can just remove um, three points from Kronos. Kronos says he's not respawned, so I'm not. <laughs> uh, I didn't see if he respawned or not, so I'm not sure. Carl Junior said that he did see it, so. Did happen. We're gonna have another warm up here before we start, so maybe we can uh, fix this. Uh, this uh, problem here. In that case, Kronos um, should uh, have three points uh, reduced from him his toll. Hmm. Okay, so I guess Carl Jr. didn't see him respawn actually. Just assumed. All right. Seems like uh, we're gonna let it slip. So, Chrono still at 66 points. Call Junior in the lead right now with 83. DNS with 79. Chronos as mentioned with 66, and Spam with 48. Point limit is 100, and then um, ESL Cup mode is used. So, uh, once you get finalist, you will still continue getting points. And we see spam again at last 900 behind in this round. Those battles between the Nascar Junior and Kronos for first, very close. Uh, where's Kronos? Here he is. 
a poor turn from Kronos, but let's see if he can get a good line over this turn. Want to build up a lot of speed. Tinas at first, 700 set of Carl Jr., but Carl Jr. catches up. Might be able to overtake him as well. Very close between DNS and Carl Jr. right now. DNS in the lead. Ooh, good turn by Carl Jr. And I think DNS had to adjust his line a lot and DNS crashed. So both Kronos and Spam can pass DNS who finished last. Carl Jr. takes first, 58.86. Kronos second, Spam third and DNS fourth. So Carl Jr. extends his lead now. He's at 93, DNS 82, Kronos 72 and Spam 52. So if Carl Jr. takes first in this next round, he will be finalist. See if we can do that. Spam again with a poor turn. Twenty-two hundreds behind right now. Twenty-five, so he's not really catching up, and it's again close between Carl Jr., Dinas, and Kronos. But Kronos losing time here again. It's the same pattern. And it's a uh, L from Carl Jr. and DNS for first. Ooh, DNS, uh, Carl Jr. went very wide in that turn. He builds up a lot of speed, so he comes back. Let's see if DNS can make this turn better now. Uh, looks like Carl Jr. again is better here. So he takes first and Kronos comes back. Might be able to defeat DNS for second. Yes, good stuff by Kronos in the end. As he gets 6 points, but Carl Jr. is now finalist at 103 points, DNS at 86, Kronos at 78 and Spam at 55. So if Carl Jr. takes first now, he qualifies for the grand final and joins Poker and Beat. Uh, but if he doesn't, if he gets second, third or fourth, he will continue getting points. So better start for Spam. close between all four players. Kronos falls behind a bit, 800s behind. And DNS is in the lead right now. Carl Jr. at second. Of course Carl Jr. needs to take first. That was a great turn by Carl Jr. actually. He tries to build up a lot of speed for this long stretch but DNS is in the lead with 1500s. DNS is driving great in this round and Carl Jr. gets a no drift. Carl Jr. gets a no drift and he will not be able to take first in this round. See if DNS can finally do it. He's had some good attempts. And Kronos looks to take second over Spam, but then Kronos crashes into the finish. Oh my god. Kronos crashes and takes third instead. Alright, so Carl Jr. now at 106 points, still finalist. DNS second, 96. Kronos 82 and Spam 61. So Carl Jr. is still the only finalist. You can see here at the right, um, Carl Jr. got a red flag. That means that he is finalist. And uh, the others need to get more points than uh, Carl Jr. to get finalist. Or they can have the same amount of points. And that means that they are uh, both uh, finalists. So in, in theory it's possible that all four players are finalists at the same time. Just like in normal cup mode. It's just that it's not as common. Right, next map is ESL Pucky, and we're gonna have another uh, warm up here. Spam is asking for the players to retire, but I think um, the others probably want to uh, warm up. DNS is actually retired, but Carl Jr. and Kronos keep on playing here. Even if uh, Carl Jr. doesn't win this round, he will still be the only finalist in the next round as well. Alright, seems like they all uh, retired. Good luck, have fun. Can Carl Jr. qualify for the grand final? But as we saw in the first uh, semi final, <laughs> Poker had uh, many, many attempts. He had a great lead over Beat and Beppo. But it took him. Um, several rounds before he could uh, actually take first so let's see if Carl Jr. can do it a bit faster Whoa! 
Carl Jr. with the worst start he could ever imagine. 37 hundreds behind in the start. Oh, spam crashes. So that helps Carl Jr. a bit, but he still got Kronos and DNS ahead of him. There he is, Carl Jr. 34 hundreds behind Kronos right now. So Kronos catching up to DNS if he takes first. That's of course important. Top two qualify for the grand final. Ooh, Kronos has to go wide and DNS as well. Call Junior takes the turn much better and suddenly Call Junior is first. Amazing turn by Call Junior. DNS and Kronos both did that turn very poorly. Call Junior crashes. Call Junior crashes and DNS will pass. Spam as well. Oh my God, so back and forth. <laughs> and Kronos also comes back. DNS takes first, 55.27. Spam takes second, 55.63. Call Junior 55.71 and then Kronos 55.79. Good race. Call Junior had the opportunity to make it. He only had to save it really. But then he made that mistake. Now he is at 110 points. Still the only finalist. DNS 106, Kronos 85 and Spam 67. So DNS now with a pretty good lead over Kronos for second. Carl Jr. gets a much better start now. This might be it for him. Ooh, spam. Falls out of the track and uh, needs to go back to go for the checkpoint here. So he will only get three points again. And Carl Jr. is driving great right now. He is ahead of the world record. Let's see if he can pass this difficult turn here. Yes, no mistakes from Carl Jr. DNS is 1600s behind. And if Carl Jr. can just save the ending here, he will take first. No mistakes this time. And looks like Call Junior will be able to close it out. One turn left. And a good time as well. 54.63. And Call Junior drives a new world record as he qualifies for the grand final. That's the way to do it. And DNS uh, takes second, so he extends his lead over Kronos. Now DNS is the only finalist. As you can see here to the right, DNS got a red flag now. Kronos is at 89 points, Spam at 70. So now it's up to Kronos and Spam to deny uh, DNS second place. And DNS of course needs to win. Needs to take first. If he does, he will be in the grand final together with Beat Poker and Call Junior and then DNS crashes. That is the pressure of finalist mode. DNS crashes and we have both Kronos and Spam ahead of him. Spam is pretty much out of the match, I'd say. Of course, he can still come back, but again, he's not really that trained on these maps, so it's going to be difficult against uh, both DNS and Kronos, who have all uh, pretty good times on these maps. Kronos, of course, needs to catch up to DNS. He will be at 99 points after this. And DNS still the only finalist at 115. Oh, Spam, risky stuff. Uh, seems like oh, he might be able to catch up. No, Kronos takes first, 55.15. Spam second, 55.25. And here's DNS. First attempt as finalist uh, did not work out, but he will still get four points. So he uh, still gets points in ESL Cup mode. And that's the end of the map as well. So next map will be ESL over and over. DNS. Uh, 17, 17 points ahead of Kronos, so he's still got a couple of um, rounds where he will be the only finalist before Kronos uh, catches up. And uh, seems like Spam retired. And DNS as well. Kronos though is still playing. And uh, of course uh, some players uh, prefer to not uh, do any warm-ups and others want to do a lot of warm-ups and it looks like Kronos is uh, one of those that prefer warm-ups. Looks like he will drive through the whole map. And of course DNS was driving pretty good on this map so far in this match so um, 
definitely uh, probably his best chance in this map, I'd say. Alright, Kronos retires. Good luck, have fun. Will DNS be the last player to qualify for the grand final? Or can Kronos come back? Spam is uh, too far behind, I'd say. But he can still, of course, uh, affect the result here if he takes first in a couple of rounds. There we go. Let's follow DNS. See if he can close out the match. Ooh, spam crashes. So it's gonna be a battle between Kronos and DNS here. Kronos needs to win over DNS to keep the match alive. Ah, a bit too wide. DNS in the lead with 400. Kronos coming back a bit here. That was a good turn by Kronos. But very close between them. DNS in the lead with 300. Oh, that was a good turn by DNS. 500s now. Coming up to the ending here. DNS in the lead. Over the platform. Let's see this turn. DNS clips the wall. DNS clips the wall. And it looks like Kronos will extend this match. 57.71 is a good time as well. DNS had the chance. He had the chance to qualify. But that pressure is very, very hard to handle. When you know that all you have to do is to make no mistakes. So now DNS still the only finalist at 122 points. Kronos 109. Spam 76. So Kronos still need a couple of rounds here to catch up. And Spam again drops down to last. Looks like he won't won't be uh, affecting this too much. And DNS now with a pretty good lead. 1300 ahead of Kronos. Oh, and Kronos clips the wall. This is it for DNS. This is it. He just needs to finish the round. 1700 ahead of Kronos. See if he can do it. See if he can drive safe into the finish and he will qualify for the grand final where Poker Beat and Call Jr. awaits. Made the mistake here last time. Let's see if he can make it now. Yes. And just one turn left for DNS. And looks like he will do it. DNS qualifies for the grand final as the last player. GG.